Thanks for joining us once again. You are in the stream. We are now in the post show. This is a, right here on our website and where we get a chance to get deeper into some of the issues that we've already been discussing. Uh, we have joining us right now Haroon from uh, Durban and also An Anan. And before I come back to you, I want to get, Nora, your idea of this uh, concept or your thoughts on this concept of people helping each other, literally. I mean, Anon is telling us that Anonymous doesn't get involved. They're not going to start a revolution. They're going to participate if this is what people really want. Is this showing us a new phase of the empowerment of individuals as well as groups? Um, yeah, I think so. And I actually, I wonder what the future plans are, if they are any, mm. talking about the Spanish Revolution that we talked about yesterday. Yep. And I was just wondering, I'm very curious if, if I could ask Anon, you know, Feel is free. there something that... Or when do you determine, or are you talking about the Spanish Revolution already? Well, um, can I answer now? Yes, please do. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, there's a bit of a delay on my Skype, so I'm never sure when to talk. Um, basically, what I would say is that these discussions all happen on our IRC network, which is open to anybody to come in and watch. And there are um, various different channels. They're like different rooms, different chat rooms on the IRC. And... Um, Effectively, somebody will propose uh, an idea, and if enough people like that idea, then they'll run with it and they'll create their own um, operation for it. That's how operations have generally happened mm -hmm. so far. But yeah. if you're asking me about the future plans of Anonymous, nobody can really answer that question yeah. because nobody knows yeah. even who will be in Anonymous tomorrow. It just depends who's online at the time. Anon, this is a great point, and Ahmed has got some comments. He's been participating yeah. in the chat. Yeah, so whether the conversation's happening, you know, online on the Internet or in this IRC chat, we're coming to the same conclusions. Uh, I threw the same question to this uh, IRC chat with some of the Anonymous members, and they're saying Anonymous has no leadership, so they can't really answer this question. And whatever comes to Anonymous's attention is essentially, you know, has a you know it's very quick and so they're saying everyone's invited to kind of have these discuss discuss and discussions. Yeah, and there's an interesting one at the bottom that says, uh, it, no, it's not like there are plans. We're yeah, gonna we're do not going to do this and that in three months. Yeah. Right. It often just happens out of a certain. But momentum. I wonder how this structure of anonymous can be applied to any kind of democratic society or any kind of society. Like how can you how can you form a right. network? Like a wide, you mean like a wider, yeah. right? Well, I mean, I think one interesting example is, let's say, open source software. You know, you have a bunch of people working towards a particular end, right. and they can choose what kind, and there are all kinds of different uh, collectives that are involved in uh, coding collectively. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's an interesting dynamic that happens when you remove identity from it, right? Mm -hmm. Because once you, see, as long as people have access to your identity, and Haroon, I want to get your thoughts on this as well. I feel like once people have access to your identity, you give yourself a certain kind of vulnerability. There's right. the opportunity for kudos, right. and there's also the opportunity for reprisal. Right. So I think that the kind of action you are willing to take and the way you do it together changes when you are literally anonymous. What's your take on that, Haroon? Yeah, absolutely. And and there's normally a really big call for, for people to try to mitigate the amount of anonymity that people right. have online for exactly this reason, because uh, people, when they're anonymous, can be bad and pedophiles and all bad stuff happens. But one of the things we need to understand is that anonymity needs company. You can't be anonymous alone. And, and so in some way, lots of the stuff that needs to happen needs the cover of an anonymity and in a way, we need to promote it because of the good in it, even though there is some bad in it. Now, I want to take a question to Anon. Uh, and if this is something that's actually coming from our control room. And they want to know, what happened to your mask? <laughs> yeah, I knew that one was going to come up. And, well, <laughs> effectively, it's, um, it's, I know I was going to appear wearing a Guy Fawkes mask like we usually do. Mm -hmm. And um, effectively, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done an interview. Are I you telling me your Guy Fawkes mask is at the laundry? <laughs> uh, it's somewhere. It is somewhere in my house. I spent about half an hour looking for it before this interview began, <laughs> and I couldn't find it. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm afraid that's why I'm only appearing on audio. Um, I realize that that well, sounds incredibly stupid, and it is incredibly stupid. Well, it's it's not a problem because your question mark is very is very fitting. Um, yeah. You know, I think that uh, Ahmed has also got a really interesting. Uh, yeah image that came up with regard to the Spanish Revolution that we were yeah, talking about the Nora, other day. Yeah, Nora spoke earlier about the Spanish, you know, how could this be interpreted or used in the Spanish Revolution or if there are any plans. And, you know, I just noticed one of the tweets that came in yesterday when we were talking about the, the, the uprising across Spain was that 
a lot of these masks are being used by these protesters. Yeah. So it seems like there's a coalition of sorts, you know, a mm -hmm. broader coalition of people trying to fight for uh, freedoms and, you know, for, uh, for uh, access to information and, and similar things that you're fighting with. So and also, for our viewers who don't know what we're talking about with regard to Spain, basically, it's this whole idea that people are having these camp-ins. They're basically camping all around the country to protest the right. high unemployment rate, 20% unemployment, highest in this Eurozone. Mm -hmm. um, I, I get the sense that a lot of people are feeling in the wake of what's happened in Tunisia, then in yeah, Egypt, and across the North Africa and Middle they're East. They're inspired. Is that they're inspired. They feel like they can have a little bit more uh, uh, agency in their lives and in pursuing their lives. And I want to take this question back to Anand. I mean, do you personally feel any sense of responsibility or pride in spreading this I these ideas of people power or, or personal empowerment? Well, as is the um, the sort of one of the fundamental aspects of Anonymous, I, I try not to let my own personal ego come into it, but mm -hmm. um, I do feel a lot of pride towards the, the movement itself. I think um, that we've I think we've started something here which which isn't going to go away. Um, Somebody was talking earlier on about, you know, um, anonymity and and how it can help. I think one of the one of the things which wasn't mentioned, which I think is very interesting, is that it means that when people are, you know, gain any respect or otherwise on the IRC, it it is never anything to do with their, you know, their nationality or their gender or mm. their age or anything like that. It is purely based on if you have good ideas, if yeah. you make good suggestions. It, it's purely based on your own intellect. That's the only thing that people will judge you by. I wish mm. the world so, would function like that. it would be yeah. a beautiful place, yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> but, but maybe this is part of helping the world yeah. to function like Because think about it. I mean, when else have you had a position where people could take a stand like that and the world could start to realize that that's happening? Yeah, yeah. it's a very inspirational philosophy that goes across borders, race, anything. Uh, yeah. Anand, I just want to you know, highlight one article that we have on our website um, called Anonymous and the Arab Uprisings. And the reason I'm doing so, you know, you can, you, we're inviting our viewers to read it and comment on it because it's really interesting. One thing that is referenced is a quote from Gabriella Coleman, who's an anthropologist at NYU in New York. She says, if you didn't have IRC, you wouldn't have Anonymous. Now, is that true? Is that that fair, direct correlation? Um, I would say that the thing about IRC is, you see, that um, IRC is completely and utterly anonymous. You don't have to have an account if you don't want one. You don't have to supply an email address in order to get an account even. Right. Um, all you have to do is have a program, or, or if you don't have a program, there are various online websites that will connect you to IRC. Mibit is one, for instance, that anybody can use. Mm -hmm. And um, it basically means, though, that the whole point about IRC is that it, it is completely anonymous. Unless somebody has access to the actual IRC server, they can't there's absolutely no way to trace where somebody is. So that's where the community really lives, the anonymous community. That's where everything is planned, if anything is planned. Well, there are various image boards and other websites out there where things are planned as well. But the, the other thing about IRC, it isn't just the, the anonymity, sorry. The other thing is, of course, that it's in real time. You type something and it immediately appears to everybody who's talking, mm -hmm. very like Skype or Facebook chat or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's much easier, obviously, to plan something in real time than to make a post on a message board and then for somebody else to read it an hour later. You know, um, I, I want to I broaden this conversation a little bit, actually. <laughs> and, and there are a couple of things. One, I'm hearing from the control room that Anonymous has flooded uh, Twitter with like 65,000 tweets about AJ Stream. So that is... Well, that's great of, news for yeah, us. That, that works for us. But uh, and so we appreciate that. But I, I want to take it back to this broader issue that we were discussing about, you know, Obama's speech on the Middle East. Right. And the thing that is interesting to me in the context of both of these conversations mm -hmm. is just literally thinking about these actions that were taken by young people in the streets right. of Tunis, right. Of, of Sidi Bouzid, of Cairo, of, of all, you know, all these different places around the world, mm -hmm. uh, have, and the actions that were taken digitally as well, have actually forced, they precipitated at right. least a shift in policy from mm -hmm. the United States. Right. I mean, the President of the United States is a dude with a fair amount of clout. He may not normally be looking at what are kids thinking on the streets of Cairo, but something seems to be shifting. Haroon, I want to get your thoughts on this more broadly. Mm -hmm. Are we entering a phase where citizens, individuals, youth, women, the people who have historically not been as powerful are actually becoming more empowered. 
Uh, it's a little bit out of my area of expertise, but I think one of the things that uh, that's clear is that the cyber world is uh, a major frontier for all of this. And all of the established power bases know this. I mean, all of the major superpowers are now establishing a presence in, in cyberspace for exactly this reason, U.S. Cybercom. And yeah, it's it's a lot of power, and it's a lot of power that's really decentralized. Mm-hmm. And so that power may be shifting back to the people. On, on the note of it being decentralized, we want to share a tweet that came in from Mind Detonator, who who is saying, even though Anonymous has flexed its muscles and shown its strength, he's saying Anonymous is anarchism. It has no ideology, no centralization, and opposes authority if there is solidarity. It's democracy 2.0. Anon, what do you say to that? I, I think that's absolutely correct. Um, I think that is exactly what Anonymous more or less stands for. I mean, you will see um, in, in Anonymous there are channel, and this is a mistake that's often made, actually. People accuse us of of lying about the leadership thing because there are obviously IRC moderators and chat moderators on, on our servers. But if you actually spend some time on the IRC and look into it, you'll find that all, of, all they do is make sure that the IRC keeps functioning smoothly. Um, mm. For instance, they stop people from flooding it with, with bot attacks and various things like that. And if one of the servers goes down, they'll work on getting it back up. So it's, it's very much like, um, if I could give you an analogy, if you think about the Speaker of the House of Parliament, he doesn't actually make the laws. He just makes sure that you know everybody is given a chance to speak and that there's an environment where things can be done. You know, Anand, I want to thank you for joining us. Haroon, I want to thank you as well. Noor, we're going to finish with one last quote. In the 21st century, information is power. The truth cannot be hidden. And the legitimacy of governments will ultimately depend on active and informed citizens. That's a quote that uh, has just been pulled up by Barack Obama. We will see you again tomorrow. Or when do you determine, or are you talking about the Spanish Revolution already? Well, um, can I answer now? Yes, please do. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, there's a bit of a delay on my Skype, so I'm never sure when to talk. Um, basically, what I would say is that these discussions all happen on our IRC network, which is open to anybody to come in and watch. And there are um, various different channels. There are like different rooms, different chat rooms on the IRC. And... Um, Effectively, somebody will propose uh, an idea, and if enough people like that idea, then they'll run with it and they'll create their own... Um, op- I'm back to you. I want to get, Nora, your idea of this uh, concept, or your thoughts on this concept of people helping each other, literally. I mean, Anon is telling us that Anonymous doesn't get involved. They're not going to start a revolution. They're going to participate if this is what people really want. Is this showing us a new phase of the empowerment of individuals as well as groups? Um, yeah, I think so. And I actually, I wonder what the future plans are, if they are any, mm. talking about the Spanish Revolution that we talked about yesterday. Yep. And I was just wondering, I'm very curious if, if I could ask Anon, you know, Feel is free. there something that... Thanks for joining us once again. You are in the stream. We are now in the post show. This is right here on our website and where we get a chance to get deeper into some of the issues that we've already been discussing. Uh, We have joining us right now Haroon from uh, Durban and also Anon. And before I come